Our mission is to help developers like you build a better app and grow a more successful business. Hi, I'm Dan Galpin, reporting from GDD India for The Developer Show. And I'm here with Francis Ma, and we're going to be talking about Firebase predictions. So Francis, what's Firebase predictions? Well, Firebase predictions is our first step of taking Google's machine learning to Firebase enables developers to predict and create user groups on actions that users are likely to take. So for example, being able to predict which users are likely to churn or likely to spend in your app. How is this related to Firebase Analytics? Well, Analytics gives you insights on actions that users have taken in the past, and predictions helps you take a step further to anticipate actions that users are likely to take in the future. So why did we end up building predictions? Well, our mission for Firebase is to help developers be successful. And one of the feedback that we've gotten from developers is wanting to get more from just analytics, but also being able to take more proactive actions and create more engaging experiences. And so we've taken our machine learning technology and patched it up so that it's much easier for developers to anticipate, predict, and to take proactive actions. What kind of technology did we end up using to build predictions? Well, this is all built on Google's machine learning, and so we use TensorFlow under the hood to make predictions work. Does a developer need to know anything about machine learning to use predictions? No, not at all. We have um, applied the machine learning, but have made it in such a way such that developers don't need any machine learning know-how or expertise at all. All you need to do is to enable your analytics and we'd automatically generate the predictions based on your analytic events. And then from there, you can take actions using other Firebase products like remote config or cloud messaging, and you're good to go. What's the most interesting use case you found for predictions? Yeah, we've seen uh, many game developers use predictions as a way to drive more user engagement. So for example, um, creating user uh, in-app promotions for users who are likely to leave their app to churn. And so instead of waiting for users to leave the app and do the hard work of trying to bring them back, now developers can take more proactive actions to give them that offer when before they leave and to continue on to keep them engaged in the game. Were there any surprises uh, you know, about predictions? Yeah, we've just released predictions a few weeks ago, and we're certainly positively surprised in the amount of interest we've seen in this product. And uh, as I said, since this is fairly new uh, release for us, I mean, we're also really excited to see what developers do with it. So, speaking of that, how can developers find out more about using predictions in their apps? Well, we have all the information on firebase.google.com. Great. Well, thank you so much, Francis, uh, for talking to me here at The Developer Show. Always my pleasure. Thanks, Dan. And uh, once again, I'm Dan Galpin, reporting for The Developer Show at GDD India. You can find out more about predictions at the links in the description for this video.